arm is a bit like you haven't changed the oil in the car for a while. Now, remember, we would, something we would never do to our car, right? Um, because if we don't, the engine oil gets really sluggish and then the engine doesn't run very well. So our engine is our metabolism, our digestion, the things that create energy in our body. So the last thing we want to do is sludgy, sludginess. And sometimes that's how we feel. Who out there sometimes feels just sluggish and wish they could change the oil in their car. And that's uh, the feeling of armor. We might feel heavy, dull, drowsy. We might feel like our food is not being digested or eliminating. We might have sinus problems, thicker mucus. We might see if you open your mouth and look at your tongue in the morning, there's a thick white coating. These are the signs and symptoms of armor. And of course, as I said, the body does not want to make armor. It's, a it's just a machine that wants to create health and happiness. Now, how do we get rid of armor? Well, first thing in Ayurveda we want to do is avoid the causative factors. So if the causative factors are A, that you're eating your main meal at night, then you should start to eat your main meal at lunch and have a lighter meal in the evening. One of the main causes also is overeating and Overeating is often caused by eating too quickly. I always joke I spend half my life retraining outs how to eat properly. And it's not our fault, it's just we don't have our parents around anymore. So we get out in life and life takes over and then we start to think food is something that we have to get in very quickly to get back to work. So focusing on what you eat, chewing your food well, like your grandma used to say 32 times, all right? And then just taking some time to enjoy your food. You know, eating is one of the great pleasures of life. And so eating properly will really help your digestive fire. Then of course, there are two treatments that we do in Ayurveda to help remove armor. One is called Agni Deepan, which means kindling the Agni. If your digestive fire or Agni is not strong, then of course we need to bring it up a little bit. So certain spices like ginger and fennel and cumin, these type of spices are very good for helping to kindle Agni. Um, drinking some uh, ginger tea or hot water and eating lightly, of course. So uh, if you've been eating lots of ice cream, it's best to cut out the ice cream. If you're having your main meal, as I said, at lunch, it's best. And then sometimes skipping breakfast if you're a little more kafik by nature. So we want to create balance in Ayurveda. We don't want to create imbalance. And so for some people like Vata, they can, you know, eating light might not be the case. So they just have to be very careful about eating on time and eating the right foods that help balance Vata. And Pitta people, of course, well, it's very hard to get them not to eat because they have very strong Agnes. And sometimes if it's too strong, then, you know, giving people spicy food is not so great because it makes them too, uh, too hot, too, um, too much Pitta. And so we want to cool them down a little bit. So things like fennel and coriander are very good spices to help with digestive fire that, uh, for pitta. And then kapha people, they tend to put on more weight. They tend to create more heaviness and drowsiness much more easily. So they need to basically eat light and exercise more and certainly have their main meal at lunchtime as well. Other ways to get rid of armor, uh, panchakarma, it's a very famous Ayurvedic treatment which we'll talk about soon. And that is uh, something very specific and should be done with uh, highly trained personnel.